Hello, everybody. So, I'm going to play a show of uh, tunes in triple meter. Three, four, six, eight. Uh, sometimes called waltz time. It's really in classical music. That's what that meant for a long time. Um, but I'm going to rag it and jazz it and do some Caribbean stuff with it. So I'd like to start with a, a, a Cuban rhythm, a triple meter rhythm that I heard uh, my only visit there in 2011. And it was like, one, two, three, one, two, three. I really loved it. And I thought, oh man, I can't wait till I get home and attach it to some uh, Americana tunes. And um, I have done so, and it's come in handy. Um, who knew that Happy Birthday was in 3 4 and that you could put a, a Cuban left hand to it? But uh, it's uh, that's what I've been doing lately, and it, uh, people like it. So, um, hope you do too. Here we go. So another old time tune that I've enjoyed uh, fooling with is uh, take me out to the ball game. You know, of course, I, you can play it, you know. The, the old uh, umpa left hand, that's perfectly fine. People are used to that. But uh, I like to play it either as a jazz waltz, like... Uh, In a 2 4 4 4 feel, but with an underlying triple meter feel, kind of like James Booker did when he, when he would play. So it's 1 2 3 4, but it's also 1 2 3 4 5 Anyway, I like to go back and forth between those two. So here's my take on. The Great American Pastime.
So a couple weeks ago, I played a Dr. John uh, piece, uh, but I did not play what is probably his most popular instrumental, which is a gospel waltz, at least here in New Orleans, a uh, gospel waltz. I know several pianists who play it. It's a beautiful tune. Uh, originally recorded as The Pot on uh, the trio way back in the 60s, I think. Uh, then re-recorded, retitled as Dorothy, uh, which was his mother. And beautiful gospel waltz. You know, gospel music, gospel piano has an underlying feel of triple meter uh, in, in its slower pieces. This is a hymn. I mean, this is not a hymn, but uh, this is an instrumental, so it shares that, that aspect. Here we go.
Okay. Dr. Johns Dorothy. I'd like to continue with a uh, piece of, uh, I don't know whether to call it Trinidadian or Venezuelan music. It was written by a Trinidadian named Lionel Belasco, very important in early Calypso, early composer a lot of, on a lot of those early records. And um, Trinidad was right next to, is still right next to Venezuela, so the influence of that country was important in the early days, especially perhaps the waltzes, Venezuelan waltzes. So I'm going to play one now called Carmencita, Little Carmen. And for this, I had to come up, I, you know, I didn't have a solo piano version to work with, so I had to come up with a solo piano left hand, and what I came up with is... So we're going to see, let's see if that works. Lionel Velasco. Here we go. Thank you for indulging me. I'm going to end 
this uh, set with two pieces by Chopin. And one of them has nothing to do with jazz or New Orleans music. I just started playing it recently with, as a duet with Aurora Neal. And um, Aurora's not here. Are you, Aurora? No, I don't see her here. So I'm going to play it as a piano solo. It's a uh, posthumous mazurka, and I like it because it's very simple, and it reminds me of... Um, Klezmer music, and Aurora and I recorded it as a pretty much me playing it straight and her adding Klezmer touches, and uh, came came out nicely. Um, so please permit me this uh, piece. It is a beautiful, simple piece of music, haunting. Uh, Mazurka in A minor, opus 68, number two, of Frederick Chopin. Zerka, the uh, Polish Polish triple meter dance. A little different from the waltz, a little more played a little bit different rhythmically. I'm going to end with a um, another Chopin piece, and this is one I played as uh, as in its original form as a waltz, the C sharp minor waltz, when I was a teenager. And then uh, at some point, I turned it into a bit of stride piano, the New York jazz piano that came out of ragtime, you know, James B. Johnson, Fats Waller, and people like that. And uh, this has been going on for 100 years. Uh, they called it ragging the classics, because back in the day, you know, European music was 
part much more part of our uh, vocabulary because we hadn't invented our, all of our music yet or much of our music so they took to the uh, European classics for uh, inspiration and uh, mockery to some degree anyway hope you like this thank you for uh, watching Thank you and good night.